Coaches Connection, connecting you and the greater DMV to local sports programs, as well as the coaches that inspire our local youth. Welcome, I'm Farrar Tate, and welcome to another edition of Coach Connection, where we connect you to the coaches that's making a difference in our community so that you can participate in so many ways. But let's start with Coach Scott. All right, this brother is a Washingtonian. Not only did he graduate, but he came back home to empower other young persons. So, Coach, tell us about what you do. Okay. Well, my name is Nick Scott. Thank you for the introduction, Mr. Tate. Uh, I'm born and raised in Washington, D.C. Went to St. Gabriel's on Illinois Avenue from K, K through 8. Then went to St. John's College, high school, St. John's College High School, played football, ran track there. Then went to TSU, played football, transferred to Frostburg. Uh, been into athletics my whole life. So basically how I got into track and field is when I left college, I put the sports down for a couple for a couple years just because, you know, the, how do I say it? Just the disappointment from not taking it to the next level. So I said, yeah. I'm gonna leave sports alone. Just okay. went to get a regular day job, worked at Enterprise, running a car for a couple years. Mm -hmm. And then my oldest daughter, she went to DC Prep Middle School. Mm, okay. It's over there by Rhode Island Avenue, yeah, Subway Station. Yeah, I remember DC Prep, yes. Exactly, yeah. so she ran track there and the, you know, I just sit and just watch and the track coach asked me to come out one day. I came out to help out, uh -huh. just being a parent slash coach. Yeah, and yeah. And things just went from there, so. We the, kept pulling me back, keep it, pulling it, me back. Exactly, I love it, it took exactly, your daughter to it, say, exactly. run with me, run with right, me. Right. So, so <laughs> once I got back into it with her, you know, uh, I helped for DC Prep for a couple years, uh -huh. and then I just really, I saw the kids I was working with, they didn't really have an opportunity. They never, uh, travel for them was going to Kings Dominion. Got it. Or going to Baltimore. So yes, what I did was it was really important for me because what was important, why I loved track and field when I was a kid was not so much for the sport, mm -hmm. but just for the opportunity to compete and to interact with friends, but more importantly, to travel and see things I've never seen before. Yes, coach. So the first so the first year we actually uh we took the kids down to Florida to ESPN, to the ESPN Disney facility, and they okay. participated down there. Then we went to Detroit, Michigan. So the main reason I, I got into coaching, the main reason I came back into D.C. and dealing with the youth in D.C. is I just want to give them opportunity to compete at the highest level against kid, and it doesn't it doesn't matter whether it's track, guitar, mm -hmm. tennis, mm -hmm. just an opportunity to compete against the kids at the highest level because that's going to give you confidence mm -hmm. for the rest of your life and actually travel and see new things and, and meet new people. Got it, Coach. And now, once again, tell us the name of the team that you're coaching. It's D.C. Select Track and Field Club. We are located at Banneker High School. All right. Right across from Howard University. That's where we practice. Okay. We uh the 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 season runs from I'm gonna say early May mm -hmm. and through through the first week of August where we finish with the Junior Olympics. So if there's someone out here that wants to say I want to help, how do we reach you? Is there a telephone number? Is there a website? Uh, th there is email is the okay. best way. So email. Okay. So I'm gonna be honest, with Mr. Tate. It's called DC Select for a reason. Like okay. um, we've been in business since 2018. We we kind of. We did it a little bit 2017, but 2018 we were fully, you know, up to our knees with it, really putting our money, putting our time into it. Yes, coach. And by putting our money into our time into it, me and my wife, who helps me tremendously. All right, family we, affair. We decided that it was going to be a selective situation. And when selective, we're not talking about money, we're not talking about social economic background. Right, right, we're right. We're strictly right. speaking on do you mesh and you come with a positive attitude. Got it. You know what I mean? We're speaking parents, we're speaking kids, and do you work hard? Because I, I me and my wife, we're out here for free. Okay. So I always tell the kids and the parents, you pay, you have, even though I don't require any monetary compensation, mm -hmm. I require blood, sweat, and tears. So if you're not out here giving me as much effort as I'm giving you, then that no That is, that is real. Here. And, I, right. and I, a lot of times, you know, people think it's all about money. It's not. But but having having the belief to work hard for what you believe in is so important. So tell us, give, give us the telephone number, give us the email, because I know there are people out here who are going to watch this show who are going to say, I totally understand what Coach is talking about. I can be committed also as an adult to support um, it, you and what you're doing to help these young persons reach levels. Because you're not just keeping them in D.C., you're letting them see the world. So. Right. Tell us the email and the telephone number. The email is dcselecttrackclub at gmail.com. The phone number is 202-760-8552. 
Now, I hope that out there y'all heard. See, it was his daughter that got him running again, right? right. But it's his wife that keeps him running. No. <laughs> you know, just staying again. So it's a family event. It, it, it really is. So all three of my daughters run. And my wife, like I said, like as far as all the track and field, on field stuff, that's all me. I take care of all of it. But okay. all the stuff outside of the track, you know, like the uniforms, yes. the, the booking of hotels, transportation, I couldn't do it without her. She plays as much a part as I do. It's family affair. And no you question. talked about the young ladies, the young girls that run with you. Give us the kind of make makeup of how have um, this program impacted the young persons that participated, um, you know, as athletes under your guidance, Coach? So playing football my whole life, I've only really been about around male athletes. But coming into the track and field world and dealing with my daughters, it just happened that the major even though we are co-ed squad, the majority of my kids are girls and the, and the best kid the best kids on my teams are, are girls so it's been a you asked me what the, i've given the kids to be honest they've given me more than i've given them like just to, 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 to interact with uh to interact with young ladies athletically and see their potential and see uh how they are i don't want to make a, a controversial statement but how in a lot of terms in a lot of kids situations they are mentally tougher than the, the male counterpart. Okay. It's just, it's definitely been a pleasure. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and, and actually, and not, and treating them like athletes, like treating a female athlete like an athlete and not sitting there saying, and treating her, uh, treating her, how do I want to say? Not, not treating, not coaching her as hard as I would coach a male athlete. So okay. just the, just equality, man. Just seeing that men and female athletes, male and female athletes are the same and just, you know, it, it's really, it's taught me a lot. Well that, well, that leads me into your your coaching uh, philosophy or style. Okay. Um, tell us about the ages, and then give us an idea. Uh, you don't have to give all your trade secrets because we okay. know y'all winners are out there. So tell us the age and some of your coaching philosophy. Okay. The age is the our youngest kid is six six year old boy, and our oldest athlete is eighteen. Um, my main coaching philosophy is one hundred percent. You know, just be positive productive and perform the three p's i tell the kids that all the time like be positive when you come out here mm -hmm. be productive and perform all right and if you do that everything will be good everything just just good. Ma just main, so mainly more than more than anything else effort 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 positive energy positive just atmosphere everything you'll you know that's what now as an good. athlete before you were coaching and i can only imagine the you know the impact that sports have had on your life could you give us some insight for those who are out here? What is, what's some of the impact that you've seen on the student that you coach? Well, I have a young man who was struggling academically, struggling. And, and I had to say it, when he's not playing sports, his grades plummet. Mm -hmm. But when you hold the, you know, do you want to come out here? Do you want to participate? Do you want to show the world your talent? His grades go through the roof. So okay. basically, I've seen that sports can be used as a motivating factor for younger young men or young women who do not perform at a high level in the classroom. Okay. So that's all right. right. So what are some of the ways the community? Because you're a small group and you're yes, really sir. giving your 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 athletes the attention they need. What are some of the ways that the community can support you in helping reach these young persons? A good question mm -hmm. uh community support just come out like track meets are all throughout the washington dc area you know what i mean just come out support the track come out support the kids uh financially we can always use money you know what i mean like um the money will be used strictly for equipment uh young people travel uniforms so just support money that's that's the main things we can use from the community Got it. Right. And so once again, can you give us the telephone number and the email? So if somebody wants to email you to figure out the next steps of writing a check to you, um, can you tell us how, how to do that again? Well, the email? You can, the email is dcselecttrackclub at gmail.com, all one word, phone number 202-760-8552. Now let's talk about the future now. Okay. You've done a lot and you're right. reaching these young persons and they're changing their lives, their grades are getting better. What's the future look like for this 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 team? Great question. Uh, and me and my wife are really discussing that at length right now. So currently we are an AAU youth track club. We also participate in USATF track and field. 
So we, uh, we've been to Junior Olympics, we've been to the AAU West Coast uh, Junior Olympics in Las Vegas, Orlando, Greensboro, North Carolina, Toronto, Canada. So we've traveled internationally, we've traveled all over the country. So the next step is to take DC Select and have it be a full-fledged summer camp where we, this, we show attention to five or six different sports, not just track and field. So have a DC Select summer track, su excuse me, a DC Select summer camp where we have elite athletes in tennis, track, 707 football, gymnastics, and we, the kids compete, they do, do camp all day long, but then in the year, they all come together and, uh, and, and the season accumulates at the Junior Olympics. So instead of just the track team going to Junior Olympics, all five of the teams will be going to Junior Olympics and we'll, we'll be to have a, a summer camp to hone these, these young athlete skills from, you know, May until August. I love it. I love it. And L, and you said they're already talking about it. So when you right. talk about something, you're planning it, and no when you question. plan it, is 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 done. The, and <laughs> the minute you say something like this on tape, you have to make it happen. You so gotta make you it talk, happen. Talk it to it. Talk it into existence. That's what you I'm heard right it now. here right. on Coach Connection. We are right. making sure our young persons are connected to the people right. that are changing their lives now. The coach. Right. Now, the coach needs your help. So often we drive by and see young people playing baseball. Um, organized and we see young people that we wish you know why aren't they are connected to something organized well we need you to help connect them so once again you have been connected to the city sports for years can you tell us some of the teams you played on and how those teams and those coaches inspired you no question but I wanted to go back to one of your questions earlier Mr. Okay. Tate, about what the community can do for okay. DC Select so what the community can do for youth athletics, not so much for DC Select, is parents uh, and everybody else who are in positions of power, go speak to your local uh, jurisdictions, school districts, and talk to them about the, the eligibility rules as far as athletics goes. Okay. Because athletics for young men and young women is very, very important for them. And it's shown that the kids who do not do well in school if you, they're allowed to play athletics, while they are playing athletics, their grades go up. So I'm saying that to say, Mr. Tate, like if a kid gets bad grades, you don't see the school take the, take the violin from the young man mm. or the young woman. If Got a kid it. gets a bad grade, you don't see the, the school take the paintbrush. They will never say, go to your room, you can't paint tonight. Got they will it. never say, go to your room, you can't play the guitar tonight. So I want that the same respect to be put on sports that are put on the arts. You heard it here. You know what I mean? So that's the Got main it. thing the community can do. Just change the appreciate the importance of uh, athletics in young people's lives. Got it, got it. So to get to your question about uh, what I, how I came up playing sports. Yes, um, so and some of those people who've, in, those, some of those coaches right. that, that you are now coaching because of them, right, no talk, talk to us. So, so the first coach I had was, uh, well not the first coach I had, but the first coach I had that really made an impact on my life was Coach Neal. And this is crazy that I'm bringing this, young, this gentleman up from 30 years ago. Coach okay. Neal is number six boys club. We practice at, uh, at Rabot and uh -huh. we play games at Coolidge. And um, he just, he was no nonsense. He yeah. was about his business. The kids were scared to death of him. You, you know what I mean? <laughs> the, 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 he let the parents know that, you know, 99.9% .9 of this young man's life, he belongs to you. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. But that 0.1% when he's on his football field and during practice on a game, He's mine. He's mine. And, 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 and that's the same way I am with my, my athletes. Okay. Like I tell my parents, I tell my kids, and 99.9% .9 of your young person's life, mm -hmm. you're the boss. Yes. But when you decide to come and let me have a young person to help that person develop and be a great athlete, when it comes to the sports, I'm going to do it. So Love Coach Neil, by far, uh -huh. was my my big, and he was my first football coach. He was my biggest impact as a as a coach growing up just uh 30 years 30 years ago still... i still remember him i still remember him <laughs> that and, is and, real. and, and it's, it's it's really amazing just coming up uh back in in the late 80s early 90s in washington dc and, mm -hmm. and me and my oldest daughter were talking about just the kids on my team and how and i'm not exaggerating mr tate it was 40 kids on the team and, and four of them have been murdered mm -hmm. you know jail for life it was a young man who was uh paralyzed from the neck down and just to see a lot of those kids, I was blessed to have a father and a yes, mother, you yes, know what I mean? Yes, and and, and yes, that's yes. another reason I go back to Neil, to see how, you know, he took those kids in who didn't have that opportunity. And as soon as those kids went away from him, mm -hmm. you know, they went down the path yeah. of, yeah. you know what I mean?
Miami. So no yeah, question, Coach yeah. Neal was so my Coach biggest So Coach Connection is, is real. And, and you see here, this brother has not only been impacted by the coaches here in Washington, D.C., but also the coaches that were a part of his life when he went, and went away to university. And he is showing young persons what the world of sports can do by connecting them to, you've mentioned some some different states, but you also mentioned, you said uh, Canada, right? Yeah, Toronto, Canada. Yeah. And, and the plan was to go, COVID, COVID hit, and the plan was to go to uh, Bermuda. Oh, it was see. a track meet in Bermuda, and that, you know, we missed that in 2020. So we, right. we tried every single year, we try to do something that the athletes, we don't we don't want to do a track meet more than once. We try to go a place that the athletes have never been, like get a completely, totally original experience. We went to Las Vegas, it was 118 degrees, extremely hot, yes. but it's just, we were there during a Conor McGregor fight, and just the, not uh -huh. for the fight of course, but uh -huh. during the same time, during the, the, the USA team basketball was out there uh -huh. playing, getting ready for the Olympics, uh -huh. and just having the kids be able to walk, and we jogged at five o'clock in the morning, saw the, the entire strip, and just giving them that experience, it, it just, yeah, it changes their life. It, 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 their it, life. It, it really, 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 truly does. So we're asking you now here on Coast Connection to be a part of this team by contributing your time and your earnings. Yes, I'm asking you to make a donation to this organization because your time and money can help them reach many more young persons as they are striving to make sure our children can compete on the playing field of life. Right. So, Coach, thank you. Can you tell us one more time, because yes, I want everybody to know how to reach you. Okay, DC Select Track and Field Club at gmail.com. And the phone number is 202-760-8552. And, again, I don't do personal social media, okay. but in the very near future, DC Select will have uh, social media accounts. Awesome. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you very much. Coach's Connection. Connecting you and the greater DMV to local sports programs, as well as the coaches that inspire our local youth. This show has been brought to you by the Scholar Athlete Sports Network, SASN.TV.